here's a tip. Just when you practice, you want to record your practice sessions sometimes. And even, of course, when you play gigs, you want to record just because you want to be able to listen to yourself and, uh, you know, be critical and see what sound good, what works and what doesn't work. And uh, that way you can just keep a journal of your progress as the years go by. You might go back and check out those recordings and, and see where you were, what you were thinking, how you were sounding, and you'll be able to uh, make an assessment of, uh, you know, your progress and, 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 and uh, keep track of, of what's going on with your uh, growth. Uh, I was listening to some voice memos that I actually had here on my phone. I had to uh, plug my phone into my computer to back up my, my new phone, but I had to get my old voice memos and stuff like that because I had to redo my password. There were some problems with this new uh, iPhone. I went through my voice memos and I found all of these older voice memos about what I needed to do, you know, a few years back, a couple years back. And I was like, wow, you know, I'm thinking about the stuff that I've done up to this point in 2014. And uh, of course, this is 2015 now. And I was like, wow, you know, uh, I've been able to accomplish different things that I pressed uh, what well, was wanting to do back two years ago. And so um, just wanted to share this with you. You always want to take note of where you are in your progress and keep journals and write stuff down. I'm always blogging and recording and stuff like that. And I go back and I listen to that stuff and that inspires me and pushes me to keep on track and keep going forward to accomplish the goal. Okay, so I just wanted to share this little nugget with you. All right.